Today, I would like to just say a few words about the about the process of, of meditation, of mindfulness. I very often hear people saying that they cannot meditate because they cannot empty their minds. And I say it's okay. And really, it's not about emptying anybody's mind because what's the purpose? And I don't know even if it's really possible to empty your mind. And how would that help in your everyday life? Emptying your mind. We live with our minds. That's the way it is. So I think that more useful is learning how to observe the mind, how to watch the thoughts and learning how to mindfully interact with them, how to choose to which thoughts we want to respond and in what way and how not to react to every single thought that appears. So in meditation, we learn how to slow down the process and kind of putting the mind under a microscope. And th that helps, the mindfulness meditation helps in that practice. And as I said, it's a practice. So it doesn't happen overnight. And it's also not linear. So one day it's easier. And sometimes we, have, we can have stretches of months, weeks, or even years when it's easy for us to meditate. And then something happens and, and we just cannot concentrate for a few moments. And that's also a practice, not being attached to those states when everything is okay, because the only thing that is constant is the change in our life. So that's also a good practice to have. So someone said at some, some time ago that um, if, if you know how to manage your mind, your mind is your servant. If you don't know, then you are the um, slave of the mind. So let's see how the mind operates and how we can tame it. And today in our practice, we'll first scan the body, the part that that's the part of us that we are most familiar with. And we'll make sure it feels comfortable. And then we'll sit with breath. We will notice the thoughts as they come and go. We'll see them and we'll kind of put them away and come back to the breath. And with the thoughts, the idea is to notice them when they come and then let them go. So recognizing them, we can even categorize them. That helps in the practice of detaching from them. And remember, you can't change the past. You can't, um, thinking about the future won't do much to change it. So learning how to be less reactive and more responsive and calmer, that is what can change your future. So the only way to change, to affect your future is to practice how to be here and now. And the mind doesn't like it. Um, the mind is used to the constant chatter and it takes time and practice to find stillness attractive for the mind. So let's do that. Let's see how we can become more at peace with our thoughts and not, not so attracted to them, just watching them. I will start with chanting Om three times. And if you feel comfortable with that, you can join me. So you can just sit comfortably for a moment, take a breath in and out. Taking a nice breath for Om.
and find a comfortable position. If possible, sitting and sit either in a chair or on the floor on a meditation cushion. Your eyes either close or gently open with your gaze soft and unfocused. First, just notice your breath coming in and out through your nostrils. We'll start with relaxing and making sure that the body feels comfortable so it's not bothering us. Start with relaxing our face. Letting go of any tension in the face. Softening the facial expression. Letting go of tension in the jaw. Softening it. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms, allowing the torso to be upright, regal, but not stiff. So the shoulders are relaxed, the chest and abdomen relaxed. Noticing your back. If you need to move your body in any way, please do that, making sure that the body feels comfortable, soft, the practice enjoyable. The posture should be pleasant and steady. Keeping your hands either on your knees or in your lap, making sure that the shoulders are relaxed, that your hands are resting, your whole body is resting upon the surface that you are sitting on. Notice your hips. Are your hips relaxed? your abdomen, your pelvis. Noticing your legs. And seeing if the position of your legs is comfortable. Your thighs. Your calves. See if you need to change the position in any way. Ask your body if the body feels comfortable. Ask your legs, your feet. Ask your body if there is any way that you can make it more pleasant, more comfortable, while holding a back that's erect, shoulders that are relaxed, and face as relaxed. As you're breathing in and out, if you're sitting comfortably, if the position is right, your breath will be easy. You'll feel your chest, your abdomen, filling with the air, Chest and abdomen gently expanding. Every inhalation and softening, resting as you exhale. It's possible breathing through your nose 
breathe through your nose. That helps to activate the parasympathetic nervous system that makes the relaxation and makes the meditation easier and possible. Just notice how you feel. If the body feels comfortable and your meditation posture is just right. In your mind, you can prepare three boxes. This will be your thought boxes, past, the future, and the perception. So these are the three categories of thoughts that you may see coming. And we'll breathe. And we'll breathe, just notice as the thought comes, does it belong to the past? Is it something that you're remembering? Or this is something that you imagine something that belongs to the future or maybe this is happening now maybe you can feel something maybe you sense something maybe you can hear something smell something maybe your body is bothering you in any way as we'll watch the breath you'll realize the thoughts coming and asking for your attention. And at any time you notice them, as many times as, ne as you need, greet them with curiosity and decide where do they belong, to which box. Is it the past? Is it the future? Or this is something that you perceive at the moment? And then you can put the thought to the right box to take care of that later and come back to your breath. So just notice your breath. And see where you can Feel that breath the most. Is this your nose? Is this your chest? Maybe the abdomen? Maybe you can feel the breath in your whole body. So wherever you feel the breath the most, just notice it and notice how it changes how the inhalation becomes an exhalation. Exhalation turns into the inhalation. Noticing every breath, every inhalation, every exhalation, knowing when they start, where they end, and seeing the pause between them. Stay with the breath, being fully aware of what is happening with your breath. And we'll sit like that for about 10 minutes, just watching the breath, just being with the breath and noticing how funny and predictable the thoughts are. As soon as you'll start just breathing, the thoughts will come. And that's okay. It's completely normal. Our job is not to give up. Keep breathing, keep watching the breath. But 
but be firm and gentle at the same time towards the thoughts when they come and you notice them as soon as you notice them label them and put them to the right box and come back to your breath as many times as you need to coming back to the breath and following it going to hold the place for us for the next 10 minutes or so as we are sitting with the breath and watching it. We are sitting with the breath. 
will notice the thoughts coming. And maybe you don't even see them right away. Maybe the thoughts take us for a ride. But as soon as we realize that we are being distracted from the breath, just categorizing the thoughts, putting them to the right box, and coming back to breath and experiencing that breath. Noticing where we can feel it the most. Nose, chest, abdomen. And using that part of the body as an anchor. Just being with the breath. Meditation is slowly coming to the end. We're going to hit the meditation ball three times to keep your eyes closed until the third sound dissipates. Just notice how you feel after this short practice. And 
I know you practice bowing to your own heart, your inner teacher, Om Shanti.